to my channel and if you're new here then welcome my name is Maddie and today I'll be doing I just starting a new type of series on my channel so I've never done like a first impressions on a show before but that's gonna change today because I want to start doing those every season since I've been watching more seasonal anime each season so I thought it's about time I do one of these so for my first my first first impressions <laughs> video, I am going to be reviewing a new winter 2020 anime called Science Fell in Love, So I Try to Prove It. And boy, I have been so excited to talk about this one because already I feel like this one's shaping up to be my favorite anime of the winter 2020 season. It is just so cute. And I am beating myself up for not choosing this one as one of my anime that I react to this season because I am telling you, I have cracked up so much throughout this show so far. So I'm just like, wish I would have chosen it for a reaction because my reactions to this show for the first three episodes have been pretty great. <laughs> I've laughed so many times, so it's a shame that I didn't choose it, but oh well can't take that back but at least I'm doing like a little first impressions on it so I can still talk about it all right so let's get this little first impressions review started so I'll tell you guys the summary first it's pretty simple it basically follows two college students who try to find out if they love each other by conducting science experiments first time I read this summary I thought it sounded ridiculous because I don't see how you can prove an emotion through science because what you feel is what you feel it's pretty black and white however despite the unreasonable concept this show is still so charming so let's talk about the main characters so first there's Himuro who is the one who initially confesses to her colleague Yukimura that she's in love with him first of all she has to have my favorite character design out of the whole cast I love her hair most of all because it's probably because I really love pastels so I'm really drawn to the pastel purple hair. One adorable thing that she does is when she gets excited her ponytail will swish back and forth like a dog's wagging tail and it even has this little sound effect. It's a little touch to her design that I adore. I like that she's a mature adult who acts like one but she still has this adolescent innocence to her at time which makes her really cute so she acts like this little cute little schoolgirl, but yet she's a college student. I really love that but like I said at the same time she's still presents herself as an adult but when she's feeling those intense feelings of love that she does for Yukimura she turns into this shy little girl <laughs> I absolutely love that then there's Yukimura who I instantly fell in love with I completely can't blame Himuro for fawning over him because boy the instant he was introduced I was like oh yeah this is gonna be a new anime crush for sure he is one of the most oblivious characters I've ever seen when it comes to love. He has this idea that love isn't legit and that's why he suggests to Himuro that they use experiments to see if the love between them exists because surely science can't lie. The funny thing is that he'll clearly be feeling those lovey dovey feelings with Himura and then he'll snap out of it and be like, okay, let's document this for the experiment. It's just makes him a major nerd and I love it. So I didn't know that this was a comedy when I first went into it, but like I said before, I didn't really know how funny it would be. It is hilarious. Seeing these two go through ridiculous experiments and try to figure out their feelings through equations resulted in constant comedy that felt genuine. The funniest part of this show so far is when they were testing out Himura's heart rate when Yukimura would do the wall slam on her, which is that thing that guys in, you know, romance manga, romance shows will do I think it's actually called like a kabadon I think that's the Japanese term for it I hope I'm right I'm hope I'm pronouncing that right but they'll back the girl into a wall and then like slam their fist on the wall and just like tower over her so they were trying that and at first her heart rate would increase when he would do that because of course this is her crush doing it but as he kept doing it over and over again to keep testing it out if her heart rate 
would increase her heart rate eventually went back to normal so he asked her why did your heart rate go high and then just plummet and she said that it's because he looked so ridiculous slapping the wall over and over again that it ruined the mood <laughs> and <laughs> just thinking about it again it makes me laugh it's been quite a while since i've laughed so hard at a scene because she was absolutely right he looked insane repeatedly slapping the wall on each side of her <laughs> i would have been like the same i'd be like this is completely ruining the moment you look stupid <laughs> and also we should talk about the animation it's pretty simple but it has a lot of great colors in it a lot of the characters are very colorful especially like i mentioned Himbro, who has the pastel purple hair that I'm really drawn to so I like the very light colors in this show. And one more thing that I do really love about this show is that it does follow college students. I feel like with more recent anime we're following more characters who are in their 20s 30s around that age range and I think it's because anime fans are specifically growing older in audience i don't know if that's true i don't know if that but i'm thinking maybe it's because anime viewers are getting older and that's why i'm seeing so many shows that feature characters who are of college age which i absolutely love that because i for one have gotten older so i really enjoy seeing characters who are like in their 20s because i feel like i can relate to that more Whereas when I watch a show that has high school characters, I can still relate to them, of course, but not as much as I would if I were watching a character who is in their 20s, who is in college. I find that much more interesting now, so I really love how this show has characters that are my age, so I feel like I can really relate to them and the things they're going through and all that, so I really appreciate that, and I love how we're getting more anime with characters who are a bit older and not teenagers, even though I still love my teenage characters. But it's nice to see some older characters now and again, too. So I think that's all I want to say about this show. The first three episodes have been released, which is really nice. So it's not just like one episode a week that's being released. So I assume in three weeks, the next three episodes will drop and not just one episode a week, so that'll be very nice. But I completely cannot wait to see more from the show. I'm already hooked, and I think it's going to be a great one. If it keeps up this level of comedy and just overall cuteness that it has so far, then I'm definitely excited to see it. I'm excited to see the relationship between Himuro and Yukimura grow as they continue doing these experiments to see if they're actually in love with each other. I think they are though because they give off those vibes a lot. I love their relationship so far. So please check this one out if you haven't yet. If you're into romantic comedies, this one is so flippin' good. I'm so glad that I decided to watch it and I'm excited, like I said, to see more. And if you have seen the show, let me know your thoughts on it. If you've read the original source material, also let me know, does it get better? Does it get good? I would love to know. And if you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more anime related videos and anime reactions. And I'll be back really soon. Bye.